Folks, you better strap in and buckle up. Today, we're diving deep into a momentum stock that's been buzzing with potential excitement and emotion all year. NVIDIA. Known for revolutionizing gaming with their graphics cards, NVIDIA is now leading the charge in AI, data centers, and much, much more. The CEO just predicted that every enterprise on the planet will eventually run on NVIDIA's operating system for AI. Every enterprise, folks. If that's true, oof. And quite frankly, I mean, markets think it is true. NVDA stock is continuing to explode, going from 108 bucks at the end of 2022 to just under 858 bucks today. You have one of the most unprecedented runs in market history taking place, and with that, you have a ton of conflicting opinions. Some are screaming bubble and that a big correction is coming soon. Others are screaming that this has a lot farther to run, and you're undervaluing the overall potential that this industry has and this new AI revolution has. In today's video, I want to present my argument. I want to present why I believe that Nvidia may lose some battles, but it will ultimately win the war. And the war is going to be extremely lucrative. I believe that yes, Nvidia has some breathing ahead of it, but also a ton of upside. And if you're sleeping on it, you're not going to be very happy in a year or two. I'm going to go through this step by step. And the only thing I ask in return is that you hit that ravishing like button, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, you should never buy or sell a stock just because we talk about it in a video. You need to do your own due diligence and make your own decisions. And quick plug, our flash sale on Zip Trader Options expires Friday night. Coupon code alerts will get you 200 bucks off. If you are ready to learn options and get our alerts, I'll put the link down below. Looking forward to having you on the team. Today's market, quite frankly, is a very, very fun time to learn. Okay, let's start by talking about historical precedents and context. So every cycle has a darling. The darling goes parabolic and gets the most market cap. Usually the darling is at the center of whatever economic shift is going on, whether that's the personal computing boom, dot-com boom, EV boom, crypto boom, or AI boom. And this AI boom cycle, the darling has been NVIDIA. Today, NVIDIA is the third most valuable company in the world, but in 2022, it wasn't even on the list. This stock came to make a prominence in the current cycle, and a recent comparable darling is how Tesla came to make a prominence in the last cycle, ending in 2021. If you look at Tesla at the beginning of its big bull rally around May 2019, it went up 3,201% to highs reached in November 5th, 2021. If you look at NVDA, well, NVDA is now up 1,838%. So Tesla still has beat out NVDA in terms of total percentage gain. Obviously, if the two are comparable, well, NVDA has a lot more room to run to catch up. Perhaps a better example to look at here is Amazon, since we have more years of history to look at. From May 16th, 1997 to December 31st, 1999, Amazon stock ran 6,437%, putting both Tesla and NVDA's runs to shame. It ran huge, lost half its value, ran huge again, lost half its value, ran huge again, and then went into a multi-year dump. Amazon, during that dot-com era, kept winning battles and then losing battles and then winning and then got wiped out during the final dot-com era battle that knocked everything down. But overall, it won the war. Now, 20 years later, we know that Amazon went on to more than 100x. And the point is that Amazon may have lost some battles here and there, but they ultimately, ultimately won the overall bigger picture war. So if you pretend that NVDA is Amazon for a second and that NVDA has just the same exact revolution that Amazon has, even though it seems like it's going to have a much bigger revolution and impact on the economy, well, then it sounds incredibly short-sighted to say that NVDA is simply an unjustified bubble. Yes, it's going to have valuation battles in the cycle just like Amazon did, but if you look at this chart in 20 years, it's going to be a much, much bigger war to win. What drives a stock over the long run is not short-term battles, but rather the actual underlying business and whether it can actually win said war. And in fact, with Amazon, the hype in 2000 wasn't too much. In fact, it was far, far under-hyped even with its 6,000% run. Same thing with NVDA today. So while you did with Amazon, need to be careful with the massive pump and dump cycles of that era, a massive of mistake was still made if you ignored it completely. So let's go through why NVDA's business model is ultimately going to win this war. And if you agree with me or disagree with me, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm going to present the reasons why I believe it is going to win this war. First reason NVDA is going to win the war, well, GPU market share and exponential growth in it. So the reason NVIDIA is the number one player in today's cycle is number one, hands down, the GPU market. A GPU is what makes AI tick. And NVIDIA controls the lion's share of this market more than 80% as of the latest data. Now, to understand how valuable the GPU market is, look how fast it's grown and where it's expected to go. GPU market size alone is expected to go from $40 billion as of the last full data set for 2022 to $400 billion by 2032, and some estimates say even bigger than that. Now, if this just happens, well, that's a 10x. If NVIDIA maintains around 80% market share, even drops to 70% market share in the GPU market, well, that's still an incredibly exponential revenue boost. Now, second 
reason NVIDIA is going to win the war is because of their AI inference chips. NVIDIA completely, completely dominates this market. But wait, Charlie, back up. What's an inference chip? Well, AI inference chips are essentially training chips. AI inference chips are specialized pieces of hardware designed to efficiently perform the task of inference, which is the process of applying a trained AI model to new data to make decisions or predictions. To make an analogy, think of it like this. An AI model, we'll say, is a student. After the student has studied and learned from their textbooks the training data, they're tested on new questions to see how well they've learned. The inference chip is like a highly skilled and fast test taker making quick and accurate decisions based on what the AI model has learned. These chips are optimized for speed and energy efficiency, handling tasks such as voice recognition on your smartphone, content recommendations on streaming services, or real-time language translation. Unlike the chips used for training AI models, which require significant computational power and energy to learn from vast amounts of data, inference chips are designed to deliver quick responses with minimal power consumption, making them ideal for use in consumer devices and various applications where quick decision making is essential. Now, the reason NVIDIA NVDA is so hard to beat in the AI craze is because its AI inference tools are the backbone of most of the popular AI applications. From The Motley Fool, quote, NVIDIA's graphics processing units, GPUs, shot into the limelight once it was evident that they are playing a mission-critical role in training large language models, which form the backbone of popular generative AI applications such, such as ChatGPT. Multiple cloud service providers have lined up to get their hands on NVIDIA's GPUs to train their AI models and bring generative AI services to the market. As a result, NVIDIA controls a whopping 90% share of the AI training chip market. As it turns out, the demand for NVIDIA's flagship H100 AI GPU is so strong that customers are willing to wait between 36 and 52 weeks to get their hands on this piece of hardware. NVIDIA is showing up its supply capacity to meet that solid demand, and that explains why the company is expected to keep growing at a terrific pace and more than double its revenue by fiscal 2027 as compared to fiscal 2024's rating of $60.9 billion. So in other words, folks, NVIDIA's inference GPU slash training chips are so dominant that not only have they been crucial in developing large popular language models like ChatGPT, but you have companies waiting 36 to 52 weeks just to get their hands on that hardware. With that kind of competitive lead, I mean, it's going to be difficult to dethrone NVDA. Okay, fourth reason why NVDA is going to win the war. At the World Government Summit in Dubai, the CEO of NVIDIA said, quote, over the course of the next four or five years, we'll have $2 trillion worth of data centers that will be powering software around the world, and all of it's going to be accelerated. This statement reflects what? Well, it reflects a vision for significant, significant expansion expansion and infrastructure in a way that only NVIDIA can do because they have all the capital and power and competitive advantage to be able to pull it off. And that infrastructure is going to lead the way in powering global software and AI applications. If you're a company needing these types of services, well, who are you going to think of first? NVIDIA. Huang highlighted the transformative potential of NVIDIA's technology, such as the Hopper H100 GPU and the Gray CPU Superchip in facilitating this growth. The Hopper H100, described as a generational leap in GPU technology, promises up to 9x the at-scale training performance over its predecessor and 30x the large language model inference throughput. These advancements combined with the new Transformer engine are expected to significantly accelerate AI model training, reducing time from weeks to days without sacrificing accuracy. That's a big boost, folks, weeks to days. Moreover, NVIDIA's focus extends beyond hardware to encompassing software innovations. The CEO emphasized how AI and accelerated computing have revolutionized software development and application, making AI a central element across various fields and industries. The introduction of platforms like NVIDIA AI Enterprise 2.0 underscores the company's commitment to providing comprehensive cloud native of AI and data analytics tools across major data centers and cloud platforms. In summary, it's quite easy to see how NVIDIA's vision for the future is not just about investing in data centers, but also about leveraging accelerated computing and AI to transform how software is developed and deployed globally. This strategy involves both significant hardware advancements and the creation of software ecosystems to support a wide array of AI applications from natural language processing to autonomous vehicles and beyond. Okay, number five, the fifth reason why NVIDIA is going to win the overall war, Valuation. Now, whenever you see a stock go up like NVDA, the first concern people have in their mind is, well, must be unsustainable and nothing can justify this whatsoever. Now, the problem with this blanket statement is that the underlying business is growing faster than the stock price. And sure, that can take a dive in the next cycle for all we know. But as of right now, the valuation just quite frankly isn't as crazy as it looks. If you look at the PEG ratio compared to the other players in the space like AMD, Broadcom, Qualcomm, Texas Instruments, well, well, quite frankly, NVDA is trading pretty damn mid-range. If you look at NVDA compared 
to itself the last year, I mean, its PEG ratio is at some of its lowest levels. In other words, you're getting more expected earnings per dollar than you have historically. Again, earnings and expected earnings are outpacing the rise in stock price. If you're looking at just PE ratio, what you're paying for current earnings, well, you're paying mid-range prices. Price to free cash flow, you're pretty cheap on the low end. So again, I mean, it's hard to say that NVDA's price is horribly unjustified. It's more like markets failed to predict how big of a deal this AI shift was going to be. And now NVIDIA is reacting in the dough from it and people are just waking up. As an analyst puts it, quote, many investors are in shock at how NVIDIA has become a $700 plus stock, but NVIDIA got to where it is because of extremely strong earnings and revenue. Said James Dermott, chief investment officer at Main Street Research, there is nothing out of the ordinary with NVIDIA's valuation or recent gains as the company is delivering on its earnings. And there you have it, folks, the compelling case for NVIDIA's future, a core player in the AI revolution that's reshaping our economy. To me, even though NVIDIA has ran quite a lot, well, it's still clear that the story is far from over. The company's relentless push into AI, its dominance in the GPU market, and its visionary leadership paint a future where NVIDIA continues to be a central figure in the tech landscape, in the AI landscape that is growing rapidly. That said, as we wrap up today's video, remember that the journey of investing, trading, buying shares in companies like NVIDIA is filled with many highs and and lows. It's a testament to the ever-evolving nature of tech and the markets that embrace it and the different cycles where capital is available for innovation and capital isn't. NVIDIA's trajectory offers not just a glimpse into the potential of AI, but also a roadmap for those willing to venture into the dynamic world of playing the highs and lows and the euphoria and dysphoria cycles. So what's the takeaway here? Well, NVIDIA with its groundbreaking strides in AI and computing is not just going to be surviving battles, but it's poised to win the overall war, shaping the future as it goes. Anyways, folks, that caps off today's video, make sure to hit that ravishing like button and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Also, make sure to take advantage of that $200 off our Zip Trader Options program link down below that expires Friday night. Looking forward to having you on the team. See you folks in the next video.